Hello everyone. Now let's see how we will solve this question. The question is x root x minus 11 root x equal to 10. So this is given to us. Okay. So this is equal to 10. And we need to find out this x minus root x will be equal to question mark. So we need to find out this. The options are 20, 40, 30 and 10. So these are the four options which are given to us. So let's see how we will solve this type of question. So moving ahead with the solution part. The question is x root x minus 11 root x equal to uh, 10. Okay, this is equal to 10. Now, for simplifying this, first we will write 11 root x as 10 root x minus root x equal to 10. So, we have splitted this. 11 root x we have splitted into two parts minus 11. So, minus 10 and minus 1. So, minus 10 root x minus 1 time root x. So, if you combine this both again you will get minus 11 root x. So, in place of minus 11 root x I am writing minus 10 root x and minus 1 time root x. So, this way I am doing it. Now, this minus 10 root x I am taking that side. As you can see, uh, we can take out 10 common from both. Okay, So, minus 10 root x I am taking that side. So, here x root x minus root x will be left and this I am taking there. So, 10 plus 10 root x. So, we are transposing this term to the right side. Okay. So, we are transposing the term to the right side. So, next step will be now here from this both you can take out root x common and inside the bracket x minus 1 will be left out. Here you can take 10 common and inside the bracket 1 plus root x will be left out. Now, this 1 plus root x we are taking it in the denominator. Okay. This bracket we are shifting it here in the denominator. So, root x into x minus 1 upon this 1 plus root x, root x plus 1. Okay, I am writing it here and this side equal to 10. Okay, so this part, this term I have shifted here in the denominator. Okay, so I have shifted here. Now, we will multiply with the conjugate term to remove the root or rationalizing the denominator. So, root x into x minus 1. The denominator is root x plus 1. Now, this we will multiply and divide. This both we will multiply with root x minus 1. So, here also we will write root x minus 1. Okay. Equal to 10. So, this root x minus 1 we are multiplying and dividing by this term. Okay. By the conjugate term. Or you can also call it like rationalizing the denominator. Now, moving ahead, so root x, x minus 1, root x minus 1. Now, here you can see that this is a plus b into a minus b. Okay, which identity a plus b into a minus b. So, root x plus 1 is a plus b and root x minus 1 is a minus b. So, a plus b into a minus b, the identity is a square minus b square. In place of a, we have root x. So, root x square minus 1 square. So, root x square will be x minus and 1 square will be 1. So, here I am writing x minus 1. Okay. So, I hope you understood how we got x minus 1 here and this side equal to 10. Now, this x minus 1, x minus 1, we can cancel it. Now, we are left with root x into bracket root x minus 1 equal to 10. Now, open the bracket. This root x we will multiply with both. So, root x into root x will be x minus root x into 1 will be root x and this side equal to 10. So, x minus root x equal to 10 and we, uh, we were about to find out that only. So, x minus root x equal to 10. So, we got the answer. So, this will be our final answer. So, x minus root x equal to 10. So, option D shows the correct answer. So, this one option D this will be the solution. So, this way you will solve this type of question. I hope you understood.